for the best way to never be broke again. You must invest in yourself. And when I say invest in yourself, I'm not talking about a haircut. I'm not talking about getting your hair done. I'm not talking. No, I am talking about grooming and conditioning your mind for success through the introduction of materials of substance. I spend twenty two to one hundred and fifty dollars a month on self-education every month, every month. And that's the, that's the money I spend on materials that are packaged and condensed because it is true. You can find virtually anything on the Internet for free. Now, it may take you six hundred and ninety seven hours to do it, but you can do it. That is true. But what is your time worth? Have you quantified? Have you defined what an hour of your life is worth? Most people haven't. I have. And I will tell you, it is cheaper in my estimation, based upon my mouth, for me to go out and spend $22 to $150 than to spend 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14 hours a day looking for the same information for free from sources that may not be reliable. So you must invest in yourself. Make it a goal to read at least one book a month. One book a month. That's 12 books a year. And if that's all you can do, that's plenty. Because what kind of books should you read? Books on sales. You are trying to make more money. You want to hustle up your purchases. You want to get to the 50% solution. You need more income. The best way to get more income is to sell something. Sales business process, accounting, uh, persuasion techniques, influence techniques, something every month like clockwork. You just go ahead and put it on your budget sheet, self-improvement investments, and you put a number. If it's $25, if it's $50, and if you you know just put this in account, $50 and the end of the year you got $600, take that $600 and go to a conference or something. Invest in yourself because, see, this is the thing when you invest in yourself and you start buying these materials and start going to these conferences and watching these videos and listening to these podcasts, you're not only introduced to new concepts, you're introduced to new people, you're introduced to new ways of living, you're introduced to so much more than just the original intent of that book or that video or that podcast or that course. But every month, you want to be investing in yourself. On some materials, you can go old school, you can go Tony Robbins, you can go with one of these new young jacks. You, there's so many people out there with great content and you you have to. I can give you uh, Daniel Pink. He has a great, he has about seven books and they're all good. Go out and invest in yourself. And another way of investing in yourself is to invest in your health. Join a health club if you need to. I understand people are doing insanity. They're doing these home exercises. Hey, no gym membership. Well, see, this is something else. And this is something I discovered since uh, I've got the Fitbit here. When you go out, because if you, I'll just give it to you. And I would recommend getting a Fitbit. I got the Surge. It was a present I'm really grateful for. But get yourself one because... Just like I tell you to track your money, to track your your expenses, to track your activities, the Fitbit tracks your activity. And because now I can look at it and it's like, oh, I understand why some days I was sluggish. I understand why some days I had more energy. At one point, because I was going through a lot and I was really stressed out, I was walking an hour two times a day. I walk an hour in the morning. I walk an hour at night just to, you know, ease my mind. And I was losing weight like crazy. And I was like, well, I know I'm walking, but see, I didn't understand. Due to having this Fitbit, I burn more energy, more calories taking a walk than I do on the treadmill. Strangely enough, because of the uneven terror the twist of turns, I don't know what it is, but I burn more calories with a walk than on the treadmill. And I didn't understand that because I was on the treadmill and I was looking at the thing and I've tested it and it was just amazing. But see, I didn't have that feedback. But see, that's the investment. Invest in the Fitbit. Yes, I would go ahead and recommend it. Yes, invest in the Fitbit. Invest in the health membership. Invest in your health. Invest in better food. I mean, you know, once again, this is, you know, I may sound like I'm evangelizing, but 
you know, it was recently Halloween, and you know, we had trick or treaters come to the house and they ate some candy, and I felt like crap the next day because I overindulged. Because typically, I don't I really cut back on a lot of that stuff, and when I do eat it, I feel it, and that's the difference between eating better food and not. The certain restaurants I just will not go to anymore. Uh, it's it's just amazing. So once again, this is back with going out and investing in personal development, exposing yourself to new ideas and concepts. Now, what does this have to do with money? It has a lot to do with money because, see, there's some people who are doing the millionaire next door thing and they so broke down at 40 some broke down, aches and pains, walking like an old person, invest in your health because as you get money. And you see it. You've seen a lot of people here on YouTube, 80 years, 90 years old, 100 years old, mind is sharp. That's a goal to shoot for, to be wealthy, healthy, and to live a long life where you still have control of all your faculties and you're still in good health. That's a wonderful goal to live for. So as you invest in these materials, and like I said, start with audiobooks. Go ahead. And the first thing, if you don't know where to go, is say go to Audible and get yourself the two book deal. It's $22 a month. You get two audio audio books per month. So if you do that, it's 24 books a year. I'm going to tell you something. If you get your Audible subscription and you maintain it for two years and you listen to 48 books, you'll be one of the best educated people in your circle. You will be probably after the first year because many people do not continue to learn. I was getting into it on Facebook with someone I know in real life, and he made this statement that, well, if Glendon had, you know, formal education, he would probably, you know, he's had some success, but if he had formal education, he'd be doing better. Now, he didn't know how much money I made, so I actually sent him a screenshot, and he hadn't talked to me since, but the whole point that I'm saying is that many people, like this guy, think that going to college and getting that is the end. What do they say when you graduate? It's a commencement speech because it's the beginning. And this is the thing. I've never stopped learning. I cannot tell you how important that is. You know, I read stuff that like right now I'm listening to this book and the guy is somewhat dry, but it's an audio book. And I've almost finished with my first path, pass of the book. And I'm going to listen to it two or three more times. You got to go ahead and invest in yourself, invest in what you want to do with your life, invest Invest, invest, spend money on creating your education because I know the Internet is wonderful. The Internet is awesome. And there's all of these amazing tools and many of them can get you for nothing. And once again, it's not free. It's sweat equity, because if you have to spend 10 hours because this audio book that I'm listening to is six hours. So I listen to it three times. That's 18 hours. I listen to it four times. That's a day of my life listening to that audio book. That is a cost. That's an opportunity cost. It's not free. And even if you did get the audio book for free, once again, that opportunity cost does not go away. Once again, another reason for you to invest in yourself. So take some money, 10 bucks a month, 22 bucks a month, 50 bucks a month, and put that in a fund and just put personal development and invest. And go ahead and open up that account today. Go online because most banks you can open up a secondary account like right now and just move 10 bucks in there, 20 bucks in there, and then go out and start researching people that you want to follow. Check them out. Listen to their podcast. Read their blogs. You know, get involved with this this process and you'll be amazed at at the end of one year how much different. It will make how different you will be and how much you will grow. So that is it for how to never be broke again. These are some of the elements that I use and it makes a huge difference because I've not been, you know, there's there's low on money and there's ass out broke. Ass out broke is when you got to borrow twenty dollars from someone to get some gas, get to work because you have absolutely no money nowhere. Ass out broke. And there are many people who are there. I've been there and this is. I would be scared to be ass out broke today. Back then, it was just I was broke. But now that I have more education about how the world works, that is a scary place to be that you have absolutely no money. That's scary. One of the most expensive things you can do in the world is to be poor. 
Everything costs more. The time to get to work because you don't have a car and you're riding the bus. It takes more time. You don't have, manage your checking account. You're paying everything with money orders. You, you spend more time, more energy, and more money on everything because you don't have adequate income. Being poor is extremely expensive. And that's one of the goals of Hustlers Kung Fu to help as many people as possible not be fucking poor. I, I, there's no nobility in being poor. And, you know, we may do and, you know, throw some ham hocks in the pot and put some greens and feed everybody for a week. Fuck that. Fuck that. We live in a world of an abundance, an amazing abundance. If you got a poverty mindset, get the fuck out of Hustlers Kung Fu. And get the fuck on. Because you will try to corrupt people with that make do stuff. Make it better. Make it bigger. Build something. This is why I don't believe, you know, I've had people like give me links or codes to other people's courses for free and I never do it. Because once you start to let that, I can get it for free mentality and you don't have to earn your way, you're toast. You're toast. It will, it will mess you up. It, you will set yourself back so far because you're looking for something for nothing. And then it'll become a preoccupation. Then it'll become an obsession. Then it'll become a way of life. That's why you have generation after generation after generation of people doing the same pathologically dysfunctional things because it's become a way of life, a habit. So take heart and understand if you employ these principles and you take them to heart, you'll never be broke again. This is Glendon, and I will see you in the next session.